G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Jack Sanchez TV. Okay, starting off with this Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask. It is a really cute travel size version of the Big Mama Jama. I'm just going to use this Ulla Henriksen mask brush, which turned out to be a complete fucking fail. So um, yeah, I just ditched it and applied that with my fingers. So I've only applied that to the bottom half of my face because I really wanted to try out this um, brightening eye mask by Skin Republic. Um, it comes in a pack of three. It, it comes in a resealable bag, um, which is kind of cool. So you can just pop that in the fridge and just use it when evs. Um, pretty much just placing this all over my eyes all over my eyes just in my eye area where you're supposed to place it <laughs> what the fuck i'm talking about and then i'll leave that on for 15 minutes and then wash everything off so it's been 15 i will be removing my mask using this face halo it is a microfiber cloth and you only need water to remove makeup masks etc etc less wastage and i find myself not double cleansing with this which is great um so now i'm going in with this tatcha water cream moisturizer look i know tatcha is expensive and bougie af but it is so freaking worth it um it just it's like as though my skin has had like five liters of water like it's just amazing and now going in with the lamia face oil i really well this stuff is like bougie and expensive as fuck but it's so good i just really found my skin was really dry because you can tell i'm super tanned and i've been in the sun a lot so i really need needed that um that moisture and that hydration but in saying that use whatever you have whatever your skin eats and drinks and lives on just do not skip prepping your skin so first and foremost brows anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the shade dark brown and this random angled brush um i have had my brows tattooed but they are fully faded as you can see they've even left kind of like a a reddish kind of undertone on my brows which is really weird so i definitely like need to fill in my brows so i just you know trace out the shape of my brows and then i concentrate on the extension i like to um deposit the most product on the ends of my brows and then whatever's left on the brush i kind of just feather that in um Although they are like fully drawn in and not natural at all. I just kind of like to make them look as natural as possible or not so like blocky and Then I just kind of like fake little brow hairs with a bit more pomade Now taking NARS soft matte concealer in the shade biscuit i'm going to clean up my brows and just like really define them and i'm going to place this all over my eyes as well and this will work as an eye base really love using this concealer as an eye base um, i just find it really evens out my skin tone it, it's like a beautiful canvas for my eyeshadow and also when i apply the eyeshadow on top it kind of helps with fallout and it just makes all the shadows um, a lot more pigmented not that the soft glam palette by anastasia beverly hills needs it but um yeah it just it just makes it you know really good <laughs> Going in with the shade Burnt Orange and this fluffy eyeshadow brush by Real Techniques, just placing that right on my crease, using small circular strokes, really concentrating that. Um, this will work as a transition. And this will really help with creating a beautiful gradient in between eyeshadows. Now going in with the shade Sienna, I'm placing that right under Burnt Orange. Um, I'm just building more dimension and more depth using the same technique, circular motions towards the outer part of the eye and in the crease just using... Um, swiping motions now going in with the shade rustic placing this on the outer part of my eye right underneath sienna and we're just um slowly building more you know drama more depth and yeah this this eye look is um it's super blown out it's not anything really harsh everything's kind of like it's all about blurred lines and 
And now that I'm happy with that shape, I'm just going to go in with some makeup remover and clean up any fallout. And by doing this, you can begin to see the shape that you're trying to create. This like really beautiful blown out bronzy smoky eye. And speaking of bronze, going in with the shade bronze and placing that all over the mobile lid. I love this eyeshadow. I freaking love this palette actually. I honestly think it's like a staple. Um, and all these shades should just suit, you know, every skin tone. And now going in with the shade noir and i want to create a wing using this black eyeshadow i didn't want anything to be super harsh i wanted everything to be all blown out and you know um super pretty <laughs> and so using a black eyeshadow to create a wing is um you still get the effect of a wing but it's not as harsh and you can kind of see the shape of that slowly coming together now going in with my lily lashes i'm pretty sure this is in the style miami um, and that kind of just really brings the whole look together. This pretty much concludes the eyes for now. I'm going to jump into my face. I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. In pretty sure this is in the shade Amber or Golden. I'll leave like a list of all the stuff that I use in the description bar below. I'm going to go in pretty heavy handed with this. I really wanted to feel glam. You know, you just have some days where you just wake up, you look in the mirror and you're just like, you know what? I want to put crap loads of makeup on. I just want to do it just because I can. So that's exactly what I'm going to do so I pretty much um, just draw the whole map of Australia on my face and I blend that out using this Melissa Sassine um, beauty sponge it is damp um, which helps the blending out process and you can see even though I've put on so much foundation when this blends out it just looks like skin it gives me that full coverage that I love it has like a, a beautiful kind of natural matte finish and it's full coverage and I just I'm pretty sure I said that already I just love it I just it's one of my most favorite foundations And for concealer, I'm going in with Tarte's Shape Tape in the shade. I'm pretty sure this is light, medium sand. I do feel like this concealer was a little bit light. I'm like super tan in this video. But in saying that, I am not mad at a super light concealer. I'm not mad at it. I kind of like it. So I'm just placing this right under my eyes, down the center of my nose, on my cupid's bone, a little bit on my chin. And then I'm going to go back in with that Melissa Sassine sponge and just blend this away. I love the shape of the sponge. As you, as you can see, you can get like right underneath your eyes, especially when you have like a winged moment. Um, you can kind of see it really helps just like clean up right under that wing. Yeah, I just love it. And I also love using the butt of the sponge to blend out the edges of the concealer. It just really helps with um, making everything super seamless. Now going in with Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Powder in the shade Banana. Using the same sponge and just, yeah, baking my under eyes. Um, because I've put so much concealer on and this is like a full glam look, why not? Let's just go straight in and bake. I haven't like baked in ages but I do find that you know when I go through my stages like wanting to put heaps of makeup on I bet you will be baking most definitely okay so that's on and it's doing its thing I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs coconut bronzer and this angled brush and just placing this right under the hollows of my cheeks I'm um, just to shape up my face again um, I do find that contouring and bronzing is so important because once you put foundation on it kind of just you know it cancels out all of the natural shadows of your face so it's important to put these shadows back in so you don't look like a pancake face look I don't discriminate I love pancakes I love it but just not for me do you know what I mean doll so yeah and now that um my contour is finished I'm gonna brush off the powder um the banana powder it's done its job it's done its thing I salute you thank you so much I love to leave you goodbye Okay, so the face is officially set. Let's move on and finish off the eyes. Going in with the shades Sienna and Rustic and a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to smudge out the bottom lash line. Um, I take a little bit of product and just build the color. It's really hard to go in um, with a lot of product and then to blend that out because it could get really messy. So by building the color slowly, you can really you know, achieve a beautiful smoky under eye without it looking super panda eye-ish. And this is a nice little touch to any bronzy smoky eye. Going in with the gold eyeliner. This is by Marc Jacobs in the shade Marigold. 
um, and just lining my eyes. It doesn't make a huge difference when you look, but um, as you move your eyes, you can see that hint of gold, and I just find that so pretty. And now for highlight, I'm going in with the Anastasia Times and Reezy collab. I love this highlight. It's like it's goldish, but it's champagne and it's super pigmented. Don't mind the texture. What can you fucking do? And just to make this a bit more seamless, I'm going to go in with the blender and just kind of like blend that into the face a bit more. For lips, I'm going in with the Dose of Colors times Disney collab. This is in the shade 1928. This is their lipstick. I love their lipstick. Super creamy. Um, but I also wanted to add a gloss. So I've added the Moi gloss from the Disney collection as well. It's such a beautiful like gold lip gloss. It's not sticky. It's just perfect. And that completes the look. Thanks guys for tuning in. It means so much to me. Please don't forget to thumbs up, um, comment down below and subscribe. It is totally free. Um, hope to catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.